The Heat's march toward the NBA playoffs resumes tonight in New Orleans with 13 games left, and everyone matters with a conference race growing closer and more competitive. The Heat, one of four teams separated by just a half game at three through six. And the night the Heat aimed to sweep the season series from the injury-ravished Pelicans. Heat won in Miami by six on Christmas Day, and we hope you enjoy every bounce and basket right along with us tonight. Well, the Heat's two rookies, that gem of a rookie class has checked in. Deng and Dragic to the bench. Justice Winslow and the red-hot Josh Richardson have come into the game for the first time tonight. At the 5.08 mark of the first quarter. And now it's on Whiteside peeling off his warm-up, heading to the scorer's game. That's Winslow. Justice Winslow connecting on his first attempt of the game. And that evens us at 18. Been working hard on that jump shot. Mid-range, long-range. Alvin Gentry told us before the game that every coach would like Tony Douglas, a guy who always puts his team first, very coachable, hard-working player. Whiteside, look out, the offensive rebound scores. And had a one-hand rebound. And we, we uh, yeah, echo what, uh, what Alvin Gentry said. Tony Douglas played very well for the Heat with all the energy he had in those 27 games you talked about earlier. So 10 unanswered points and a 16-2 run for Miami. The lead continues to get fatter here in the Big Easy. Winslow crossing over and scoring over the top of Perkins. Oh, you think the Heat like running the way they're running? Getting points in the paint, racking up assists, one and done on the defensive boards and go. Yes, a loyal fan base. Proven by the attendance, every game a sellout, and the TV ratings, which have been off the hook. Speaking of off the hook, the lob from Dragic to Whiteside and another crushing dunk. Dragic had something interesting to say about Eric. He never played with a big man before. He had to learn how to throw the lob, and he's done that. The Heat now lead by 14. A 15 to 1 run for Miami. A pulverizing way to end this first quarter. So the Heat do close the first quarter with a 15 to 1 run. And that budding friendship on and off the court between the point guard and the game-changing center. We talked about the, between the two of them, they shoot 65% on that pick and roll. You just saw the flush right there. Yeah, I like that. Mike Inglis, the <laughs> radio voice in his pregame interview with Eric Spolstra, said everything went so well against the Cavaliers on Saturday. But was there something you didn't like about the game? And Spolstra bristled. He said, yes, we gave up over 50% shooting. And Coach Spolstra's a defensive guy first. He said, that's not acceptable to me, and that's not acceptable to our team. Dragic against Alonzo G. Whiteside, he's open. Knocks it down. Should be no hesitation for Hassan Whiteside. That very trust trustworthy mid-range jump shot. Whiteside's three for three and has seven points. Tang with a good look. And here comes Tim Fraser flipping ahead to Babbitt. Winslow took it away from Fraser. Fraser went to the basket, forgot the ball. Winslow forgot nothing. Justice Winslow with an eight-point burst off the bench. Heat center, Hassan Whiteside, who's definitely played his best basketball since the All-Star break. And he's had to without Bosch. Blocked his first shot of the game. He averages five points for New Orleans. The Heat are up by 13 now. Richardson banks it in. First score for... Josh Richardson, Drew Holiday. A leg injury has plagued him over the last couple of years. Remember, they acquired him for the rights to Nerlens Noel in a number one draft pick that the Pelicans already paid, paid off. Holiday just now starting to pay off for the Pelicans now that he's healthy. Oh, my! Another sensational finish on a hard drive from Richardson. Wow, he told the screen to get out of there. He wanted to take the Douglas off the dribble, and you can see why. Richardson has some dazzling athletic ability. You got Josh Richardson. Tell everybody, get away, go set a screen. Saw the lane to the basket. When they try to come over and help, he flushes it. I Riley played on that Lakers team with that Hall of Fame backcourt. Gail Goodrich and Jerry West. Now second rejection for the block to push. Wade scooping and scoring. Well, so often, Tony, you see the heat and a fast break score following a white side rejection. Well, the Heat lead by 15 for the third time here in the first half. 
Oh, oh, oh boy. Rogic sprained his left ankle. He twisted it. He looks like he's all right. The lob broken up and stolen by Whiteside. That's right. Everything's a lesson for him. You're preparing yourself for the playoffs by playing well on the road. Doesn't matter who the opponent is. You got to compete and play your best. D. Wade flipping it over to Lou Alden. Need a really sharing it. Very unselfish work. In the white side, who got fouled on the hook, it drops for him. Look at that. Four guys touched the ball. It was swung from one side to the other. Wade with the touch pass inside. That's beautiful basketball right white there. White side is four for four, has nine points and six rebounds with two blocks. And here's tonight's delivery of the game, brought to you by Domino. Look at that pass. In that inside. He lead by 17, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Dragic has come in to replace D Wade. Whiteside against Babbitt. Easy money. The jump hook for Hassan Whiteside, who's pitching a perfect game right now. He's five for five. Miami ahead by 17. Nice pass by Dragic. Whiteside stays perfect. Well, the soft touch for the great wall, Hassan Whiteside, who now has 13 points. And the Pelicans still in that 2-3 zone. Yeah, they've done well in it. Whiteside banks it in. Hassan Whiteside, 15 points on 7 for 8 shooting. He lead by 16. Richardson missing the 3. Ajinsa comes away with it. Babbitt. Blocked by Whiteside. That's his third block of the game. And look what it leads to. How about that fast break? Dang to Winslow to Richardson off the block from Whiteside. That yeah. was a thing of beauty right there. You know, Coach, so often you get fast break opportunities off stops and rebounds, but the Heat's best trigger to run usually off those Whiteside rejection. Block shot on Babbitt by Whiteside. And Dang to Winslow to Richardson to the dunk. Boy, that's pretty. Alonzo T's foul. fourth foul. And the fourth team foul on New Orleans. Five and a half minutes left. Whiteside gets it from Dwayne, and Perkins hammers it. Whiteside scores anyway. Yeah, they were looking for that pick and roll. They weren't going to be denied. Whiteside kept changing sides to get the proper angle to give Wade the screen. Yeah. Yeah, Wade's man. Watch this again. He's going to change sides again. That time he sets it up, and Wade waits until he can get his man open. Perfect delivery by Dwayne. Whiteside is now 8 of 9 from the field. Miami's being outscored in this stretch, 17 to 5. Wade on the move. Great catch by Hassan, who oh. puts in another one. Wow. Oh. He catches everything, and he's finishing almost everything. Nine for ten shooting for 20 points. For Whiteside, it's his 17th 20-point game in a Heat uniform. 24 points for Drew Holiday tonight. And he does look like a healthy player once again for New Orleans. Joe Johnson misses. Look at that rebound by Whiteside. Oh, man. On the long that? arms of Hassan Whiteside and the suction cup hands. How did he get that one? Whiteside, 20 points, 12 boards, three blocks. Watch this again. Watch him reach between two guys. They thought they were off to the races, Dan. Whiteside winds up on the foul line. Whiteside with 21 points. His season high is 26 against the Bulls. Whiteside affected that shot by uh, by Holiday. Miami up by 12 with a minute 38 left in the game. Wade with 23, Dragic with 21. Why not? Yes, <laughs> tee it up, knock it down, and bottoms up for Hassan Whiteside, who has nine of his 24 points here in the fourth quarter. On 10 for 11 shooting for the night. So the Heat will sweep the Pelicans for the first time in the last three years. Just the second sweep in 14 seasons over New Orleans. Tony, the Heat, for the first time this year, go 12 games over 500, and they hold their lead for third place in the Eastern Conference standing. How about 26 and 9 when the Heat score 100 points? Eric, thank you very much. Nice lengthy conversation over there with Coach Gentry. If you don't mind sharing what you all talked about, what did he share? 
Uh, I'm from Shelby. You know, Shelby like five minutes from my hometown. So um, he was just telling me, he was just telling me he knew some of my uncles and stuff. Cause we um we right around the corner from each other. I'm from Gaston, so it's right around the corner. Little North Carolina connection there. Nice to hear. What did it take for you guys to really kind of? Really settle yourself and push back after they started to make their charge. Um, we just had to figure out the zone. You know, um, we had to figure out the zone and um, get to spots. You know, uh, I was at the free throw line most of the zone, and uh, guys cutting and um, just trying to get them on the boards and um, get stops and get on transition so they can set back up in the zone. On top of the boards and blocks today, it seemed like you had a bucket every time the team needed it. What was your mindset offensively tonight? I'm just coming out here getting a tough road win. You know, I'm um, just trying to come out here and. Uh, just contribute to the team and um and keep this thing warm. And finally, tomorrow, the Miami Heat have an opportunity to do something no one has done this season yet. Go to San Antonio and get a win. What's it going to take? Uh, it's going to take a lot of effort. You know, um, we just got to come out here and um, just compete. You know, and um, just make it tough and um, try to play Miami Heat basketball and um, just try to get that win. Congratulations on that win. Let's go to San Antonio. Let's go. We're gone. It's that simple. 21 is spoken. And off we go. But first to break, then we're going to come back. 113.99. It's a heat victory on the road.